Let's not screw around. Let's try it. So here's another go. On my Outlap, I'm gonna have the Wings app. 47 percent, 48. I'm not sure if you can read it. Probably not. It's really small. Provost there still. Now the more I press the throttle, the more it wants to oversteer. I lowered the diff to make it a bit more oversteery still on the exit. Now it, that might be a bit counterintuitive because, you know, uh, lower value means more oversteer and I already had some oversteer on the on acceleration. But I did that to combat the, the, the snappy sort of oversteer. And here, it's still not perfect. Still the curb is catching me out. Let's see how the balance is. It moves quite a bit towards the front, I must say, when, especially when I, I slow down, so... I might have to make the front a little bit higher, or add some rear wing. But for now, let's test it. And again, see what we can feel. I heard there... Uh, the car revving when I got on the curb. That's the open diff thing. It means that one tire wants to spin up and the other doesn't and a lot of, a lot of energy, a lot of speed is wasted. But it could make the car uh, more controllable. I'm trying to brake a bit earlier. Quite a bit of well, it's not exactly oversteer, but uh, it's sliding. Sort of four-wheel slide. Well, this feels all right. Am I going a bit wide? Losing some time by going on the green stuff. And I'm braking pretty early again here. Trying to be smooth. Already I have a delta that's pretty good and into the 44, so... That's nice. A bit wide. It's not so great. The car feels a lot more controllable, especially on acceleration. And that's something that I often noticed in a set of course, that you want to, you want to learn, uh, run pretty low values in the dif differential. I'm really being careful in that fast turn. Braking too late. There is oversteer, but it's it's controllable. It's I can uh, I can fight it without it snapping too much on me, without without it being unpredictable like before. That curb doesn't give me too much oversteer, so that's nice. I turned in too early, and we're improving. I noticed that, um, and that's that's the biggest thing that the the balance of the car is really coming towards me. It's not so much whether you have the fastest car, uh, the fastest setup. I mean, something that is really fast for one person could be really slow for another. They're just purely depending on the, uh, the driving style. Now I could say, you know, I like the car to, uh, you know, oversteer a tiny little bit on entry and, and a, a tiny bit more on the exit or something like that, right? Uh, and mid corner, I wanna, I wanna have it more or less stable. Let's say that's the case, then you know I can describe it, and, and probably most people will agree with that. But what's understeery for me might be uh, oversteery for someone else, and the other way around. So, even though you know you might agree with it with each other that uh, you like it a certain way, uh, still a setup could quite, quite possibly not work uh, for you. Maybe I should finish this lap. 
Let's roll it a bit more, a bit too fast still. Well, it's not the greatest lap, but um, for now it will do. So we're in the low 44s, so we have improved quite a bit, and um, I feel that this setup is, is for me about a second faster. Let's look at the suspension. I think. I could lower it a little bit more. And then maybe the front is a bit too low. So I'm gonna make it higher. So it's about 58 on both sides. Um, brake bias, for now it feels fine to me. Maybe lower it. I, I, I quite like to have a bit of low, low value. And yeah, you know, maybe this helped me. Maybe it didn't. The camber, well, let's see what happens if we change it a bit. I think six, six gear was still quite pretty long, so I'm gonna make it a bit shorter. So the changes are getting fewer and smaller. And I'm, you know, a bit more experienced, so I, I know what each change does or should do. So, you know, I can really separate the things. I mean, it's easy to separate, of course, the, the gear ratio of the sixth gear um, with, well, the, 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 the camber or something, right? So it's quite low in revs, but uh, might be quite, quite a lot of power there. And we want to balance the, the, the revs and the, in each corner and see, you know, do I get a sort of optimal acceleration out of each corner? And there I noticed quite a lot of oversteer on the on turning in. Just have to uh, keep an eye on that. Might be something to do with the camber. Maybe it was a bump, maybe it was my Input, you know, it's hard to know for sure. And I find that it, it, uh, the braking zone is a little bit longer than it was before, again. Um, and it's probably due to the increase in negative camber. Let's keep it in fourth-ish. But hesitant on the uh, throttle. Well, let's see what we can we can do. Struggling with the car. Oversteer, oversteer, oversteer. Ah, that's too much. So what happened there? Um, one thing that I did was, of course, this balance. Maybe I should uh, try something crazy, right? So I made the, uh, the rear spring a little bit softer. Uh, not by much, but it might be just enough for the, uh, the balance of the car. Um, I mean, the difference in the balance was uh, about 10 before, and uh, then it went to 5, and now I've changed it back to 10. And, and the car is becoming pretty soft, maybe too soft. We'll see. So the balance, 48% when I go through this turn, 49 at high speeds, or braking. When I accelerate, it's about 47, 50 here. Oh. 
I must say I have not driven this car uh, a whole lot. Maybe once or twice. It's not the most experienced and of course each car, even if you set it up, uh, has its own balance and its own, you know, handling. Okay, I think this is still decent. Took a little bit too much curb there on the first apex. Wanna keep it steady, a bit oversteer still. But I went on the throttle a little too early, I think. Late braking, too late. And you can see that the tires are just overheating and that might be due to it being really soft. And of course, me pushing really hard. And by soft, I mean the uh, the springs. Of course, you also expect it after those uh, two. Uh, really hesitant after those two uh, right-hand corners. Notice I'm still not, maybe more so than before, I'm not uh, feeling that confident in the car. Maybe these changes weren't for the good. Also the increase in camber might have been too much. Let's try one more lap. A little bit too fast in that corner. In turn one. Shouldn't have added that little bit of throttle. There's a little bit of a dirty ha habit that I uh, sometimes have. Whenever I feel like I'm, I'm turning in too early or... Oh, again. That corner, I just hate it. I just hate it. Um, so this doesn't doesn't feel good at all. I think we should, uh, we can save this, ah, bad, and then um, let's go back, yeah, I think that's a little better, uh, maybe the brake bias still, uh, camera's all right, just to be able to try that. Did I change that? Let's call it D. So what about the gear? 306. 306 should be fine. That's too much. So 306. I'm going to lower these uh, bumps whenever I accelerate. I want the, uh, the, the weight to... Uh, Shift a little bit faster towards the rear. See if that does anything. 
and maybe uh, do this. So it should be a bit more understeery. That it was uh, a couple of setups earlier. But I'll see what it does. So I've come to the point where the basics are more or less correct, I think. Um, I went the wrong way, so I went back. This is very understeering. This is maybe way too much. Yeah, this is really obvious. But I don't want to give up yet. Now, apologies if this might be a little boring. Ah, that's better. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it takes time and patience uh, to to get a setup done, and um, of course a lot of concentration to get the lap right. And I should probably drive more laps in order to really understand the feel of this car and track and set up. So, let's go for it. It's a decent exit, I must say. I do have some understeer, but it might work for me. That's a lot of thrill braking here, and, and that's not something I could do before, so... Adding a bit of understeer helped me in that respect. I feel more confident. The downside is that the, uh, the front uh, tires, and especially the front left tire, will be getting too hot. And one thing I want to do is change the, uh, the brake bias, and that's something I can do on the fly. Too late on uh, turn in and the brakes. That felt pretty good. A little bit wide. Ooh, I have to wait and wait and wait. Feels good. The car is really pushing wide, but uh, yeah, it's faster, as you can clearly tell. I feel more confident. Right now on the straight, the, the front and rear left tires are about the uh, about equal in temp. It's a good thing. Really hesitant. Temp a bit too high. I think that's why I'm losing some time here. So that's something I need to work on. better than the previous lap. Bit of counter steering. The, uh, the tires seem to have uh, need very much caring. If I have a little bit of oversteer, the rear, rear is heating up. If I have a little bit of understeer, 
the front is heating up and whoa, it's a little too fast four wheel slide oh that's terrible okay yeah so how do we combat that well, increasing tire pressures, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, decreasing the camber, something I could try, but not yet. What I want to do is see if, well, I want to make this a bit higher. I added the rear wing, which is good. So, let's call this E. I think this is a good, there you go. That's the start. I might split this up into, uh, more parts, but um, just to get started with the setup and uh, to uh, get a better uh, lap time. I think this is a decent start. Hopefully you can take some lessons from it and um, maybe we can uh, go into detail about certain aspects of the, uh, the setup uh, if you have some questions. Uh, again, I don't want to explain uh, everything. Uh, or the entire technical aspect of it, just more or less what it does for from a driver's perspective. And um, yeah, well, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. And if you have any questions, of course, uh, leave it in the comments. Thanks. Mm -hmm.